Hi everyone and welcome to this tutorial where we are going to draw all the planets of our solar system and for this drawing I'm using a compass and on the left corner I will draw in the Sun of course and then I draw in all the orbits in which the planets are circling around the Sun it is a very useful to use a compass if you have one and make the nine orbits that uh, the planets have that are circling that Sun uh, or you can just try it out of a hand but let's take a look at our first planet that's the planet Mercury and I've made comparisons in the, the distances and in centimeters now the first planet is uh, Mercury which is a grayish planet so I simply color this in with the graphite pencil that I was using to make my setup and this is a two centimeter broad planet and then we go to the second planet and that is the planet Venus now notice that I make a little bit of shadow underneath each, each planet the planet Venus is more or less brownish so I'm using my light brown color pencil over the graphite to give the planet Venus its color this one is also two centimeters a little bit less and then we come to the third planet and that one is well known of course that's the planet Earth that we live on ourselves now this one is three and a half centimeters so Earth is well much bigger than Venus and Mercury and here I'm drawing in the continents you can see the south of America and Africa and then I put in a little bit of white underneath before the water which is on our planet of course with light blue and uh, the bottom part of the planet I make a little bit darker so that it appears rounded and a more or less 3d effect the continents I make a little bit green and then we have our planet Earth which is on the third orbit around the Sun the next planet is Mars now Mars of course is a red planet and most of you know this I put a little shadow again underneath and then I first take a light red color pencil and I make a little bit of markings that are on that planet with the light red and then I take a darker red to make that planet make more 3D and I put the most of the dark red underneath then we come to the biggest planet and that is Jupiter now Jupiter is uh, of course very big so we have a lot of space to uh, color in of course I make the shadow again and the nice thing about Jupiter that it is a brownish planet but it has those rings on it very beautiful indeed I use first the light brown and then the dark brown to draw out those rings it's a very very beautiful planet and it is the largest one of our solar system so here 
we draw in the orbit for Mars and here we draw in the one for Jupiter which is 4.8 centimeters now let's draw Saturn Saturn is very nice too because it has those great rings around the planet so I draw these in two and also this planet is brownish of color so I take my light brown color pencil again and then the darker brown to draw in those beautiful rings and then we have our planet Saturn which is on the sixth orbit then we come to the most funny planet of all of course Uranus now I know you will make a fun of it but that's okay Uranus is a very light blue planet so I first put in white as an underlayment and then I go over it with the light blue color pencil it has not much markings so it's a very easy planet to draw and it's 3.2 centimeters in comparison then we come to the planet Neptune Neptune is our number 8 and Neptune also has the um, well, beautiful ring and they've only just discovered that he has one just like Saturn and Neptune is a dark blue planet so for the planet itself I use my dark blue color pencil but for the ring I will use the light blue because the ring of Neptune is somewhat lighter than the planet itself so here we have the eighth orbit and then it's time for the tiniest one of our solar system and this is Pluto Pluto is on the ninth orbit and Pluto is a very light gray he is only one centimeter in comparison and here it is the ninth orbit of our solar system now they all turn around the Sun of course and to make the Sun shine a little bit upon our planets I place a little bit of light yellow on the left side of each planet okay I hope you enjoy this and that you will give it a try of course maybe you can use it for school share it with your friends don't forget to subscribe and I will see you again in my next tutorial